Quick unboxing today, not from my typical places, of J.J. Buckley and some other places. This is from a store called Laurenti. It's in Hamilton, New Jersey. Really good selection, really great selection of Italian and French wine. They have a good selection of American too, but I'd say their strength is... Italian and French, specifically Italian. So I went there to buy specific Italian wines and I bought a few others, so I got six total. And then I have a wine from Psalm Select, the website. Ian Cobble is part of that. He was one of those Psalms from the very first documentary called Psalm. So I'm just gonna go through those seven wines real quick and call it a night here. So what do we got first? <laughs> So, Marina's Vedic. So, they, this is the place I, I first got the Marina's Vedic Multiple Channel de Bruzzo. So, like I said, every time I see this one, I always grab one or two. This is 2016, one I've shown on here a few different times. So, they had it. Not much to say, except that I just love this wine. Sub $20. All their Italian wines are 20% off, too. I think for a few more weeks. So, I probably need to go back and really survey everything they had and even their website. But everything here was 20% off, which was great for, for Italians. I think I got one French in here too. Let's see if it's in here. So, Sangrentino from Umbria. So, the Sangrentino grape. So, this month of, um, this is the Lungarati. I've never had this one before, but I did recently just get a bunch of Sangrentinos from Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Capri, and I love those. And I've never had this one before. So I wanted to try a different one in that 40 to 50 range. So excited to give this thing a try. 2014, and these are super, super tannic, big wines, awesome wines. I think these are a great alternative to Cabernet or, or French Cabernet or French Bordeaux uh, from Italy for big, big, bold, tannic red wine. I mean, really awesome and under the radar, I believe. Now, this is the French one. So they had a Sauvignon, so from the Loire, and this is the Chenin Blanc grape, the region Sauvignon in the Loire. I've only had a few, and one is the Coulet de Sorant from Nicolas Jolie, the biodynamic uh, winemaker out there who's, who's basically famous for biodynamic, and his uh, Chenin Blanc from out there called, um, what did I just say it was? <laughs> but the, the Sauvignon from out there. Coulet de Sorant, and his region is actually a uh, AOC of its own. I think it's one of the only two regions in France. One is Chateau Grier, which is Condria, and then uh, and then them. I think there might be a Burgundy one too, but I forget. But anyway, this is a Sauvignon I've never had before. Um, 2009, so it's got a little age on it, which is great. This is what I think I love. Sauvignon with age is typically awesome. Hazelnut, honey, just very complex. So, we'll see how this one is. It was the only one left. I think it was in the 30s. Give it a try. Thought it was worthwhile. It's the only French one I bought, so not on sale. And, okay, so this is Granado from uh, Elizabeth Foradori. So, Foradori, she does a lot of things in Amphora. She's from Italy. Does a lot of things a little bit different from the Terrell Ter Ter Dago grape. So, not a, a very common grape either. But I recently just had her 20 or $30 version called Foradori. Checked it into a vino, I didn't do a video, but this is her top of the line, which is, I think, aged in oak. So I kind of wanted to taste this grape in oak from an amazing producer. And I've wanted this wine for a really, really long time, and I decided finally to go out and buy it. That's the store that had it, which is why I ordered it. And I went out there, and then I picked a few more bottles up of other stuff. But this was the main reason I went to Laurenti. So if this wine is great, um, that would be very exciting, but... I'm excited to try this and really get Turo Delgo for, you know, at its best. I think this is getting that grape at its best. Another distraction. So another great wine, Multipiano de Brutus. So sub $20, this wine's awesome. One of my friends, I brought this for one of my friends. He recently had it. He sent me a picture, a text message. He goes, oh, this wine's great. I said, yeah, I brought it for you because I really thought you'd like it. So I'm really glad you did. I'm really glad you finally tried it. So Ilico from Illuminati. A very inexpensive uh, uh, Multipucciano d'Abruzzo. This is the 2000 and... Oh, I don't even see a vintage on it. I don't know why. Well, this was on sale, too, for like 15 So, really great for $15. I don't know why I don't see a vintage on this thing. 
that's very peculiar, but, oh, no, that's not it, I don't know, no vintage, but great wine nonetheless, I'm sure I'll find a vintage when I find it, and last but not least, so this is the Illuminati, I'm pretty sure it's the top of the line Illuminati, it's the Pia Luni, so no Volte Toronto de Brut, so this wine is nothing short of awesome, big and dense, this is a 2008, and I really, really love this wine, extraction number two. Um, really great wine. It's the second one I have now in stock, so probably gonna open one of these soon just to revisit it. I told my friend about this, the one that I also gave the, the Illico to. So, see if I'll go out and buy this one. So that's everything I bought from Laurenti. The other one is from Somme Select. And this will go down as one of the most expensive bottles of wine I've, I've ever purchased. And it's a producer I've only sort of recently got to know. So Gravner. And in northern Italy, so another Italian wine, northern Italy, near Slovenia, doing things very eccentric. And if that orange wine movement that I sort of talked about in a video a while ago with the extended skin, extended skin, extended, extended contact wine, um, white wine is what orange wine sort of ends up being and having a very sourish taste and adding tan into white wine. Well, this is a red wine, and I'm pretty sure this is a Merlot out of that area that he does some crazy stuff with. This is a 2010. This wine just came out. So this wine's his latest vintage of this, the Rosso Gravner. So it's a red wine. I'm pretty sure it's Merlot. And it's supposed to be pretty awesome. And it's supposed to be very unique. And I said, I've gonna get something that's from Gravner, from out in that area, that's just so ad out there, but supposed to be so elegant, so great, great, uh, great reviews, very expensive, a few hundred dollars for this, and probably need a good special occasion for this, or a really good reason to open it, but here it is. I do intend on getting one of his whites, it's from the Ribola grape, and uh, I think that wine's about 80 bucks, and I think that's supposed to be like the pinnacle of orange wine, uh, extended skin contact wine white wine so i'm gonna get one of those two and i'll probably do both of these on camera just because there's something very unique about these wines and this producer and he's legendary in the wine world but in the normal world you don't you don't even find these wines they're very very difficult to find this came from some select down california they pick uh, random wines you know it's a sommelier a master sommelier picking some of these wines or potentially picking these wines at least he has his name behind it and they write up something and they wrote up a good thing about this but i knew about this wine and they don't always come out with it in every vintage. Sony does it in certain vintages. So it's very rare that it even produces this one, the red one. The white one, I think, comes out more frequently. So very excited to try it. It'll be very interesting to taste it. It's kind of like a one and done. I mean, unless this thing knocks my socks off, I can't imagine spending this kind of money again for it. But sort of a once-in-a-lifetime type of wine for me. And talk a little bit more about it. But when I get to the white talk a little bit more, maybe talk a little bit more about Gravner. I'll get a little more research when I actually do, do drink this wine on the aging. The aging is very long and extensive. I think it does amphora and then like six years. There's just a lot of, a lot of aging that goes into this wine to make it what it is. So very cool, very exciting, certainly very expensive. But I'll be going back to Laurenti sometime soon by some more, more Italian wines, especially while they're on sale. Really great selection of stuff. And that's it for tonight. Not drinking anything yet. It's a little bit, well, it's a little bit late. 10 to 10. It's supposed to get about 20 inches of snow in the next two days. So have a good night and goodbye.